Hello there guys, I hope you're all doing well today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name's Phil, I'm from the uh, Termination Gamble channel. Um, yeah, so just want to just, just bring a few things to your attention today. Um, been doing a lot of thinking today actually about how dangerous online gambling is. So I just want to bring you some facts and figures on that. Um, I heard a few tweets today as well, I've seen a few tweets online about how... Um, you know, gam problem gamblers are in the minority. It's up to problem gamblers to sort out their own issues and not affect all the other people that are having a good time. Um, I don't know necessarily agree with those points of view, personally. Um, I think that gambling is, is a cancer in throughout the UK. Um, I think there's too many high street shops. I think there's too many, um, te too many adverts on television. And there's too much temptation out there. I think that people that suffer with addictive personalities, uh, people that have a mental illness, are more sus susceptible to having a gambling problem. So I do take a bit of offence to these tweets that I've seen today about people saying um, it's up to the self-exclusion works. Self-exclusion, everybody knows that anyone that's got a gambling problem, self-exclusion does not work at all. You can go around a hundred different shops, hundred different casinos. Only one casino and one shop can ban you at one time. By the time you've gone through all of them, you're broke. There's loads of places you can gamble online and out outside. And by the time you've you cancelled you, you at the time you've self self excluded, you know, you're already skint. You've already lost your rent money. You've already lost your mortgage money. You've already lost your 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 loan. Your um, not not loan. Sorry, you've already lost your uh, kids' birthday money. You know, so self exclusion. I don't. I. They always these gambling companies and the government. They always say like, oh, the 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 the, the gambling industry and the government have taken massive massive steps to protect problem gamblers. Rubbish. All that you've done is put bring in a thing called self exclusion doesn't stop that person from self-destructing trust me i've been there and i know many people that have and i'm sure everyone that's watching this video will understand me when i say that um so rubbish complete rubbish um you know they say that they're putting 60 million pounds more into tackling the gambling problem 60 million pounds i should think so that's absolute rubbish I mean, I've seen a report today that in 2017, get this guys, in 2017 alone, our UK government netted 2.7 billion. And that was a survey that was conducted by the Gambling Commission. I think there's Gambling Commission, yeah. Let me just double check that actually. It was a survey that was done in 2017 um, that the UK government netted here it is now, two seconds. 2017, um, an online gambling and betting, the UK government made £2.7 billion. Um, that was from the UK Gambling Commission survey conducted in 2017. £2.7 billion they made off tax, the tax and the receipts from, from, from gambling, the tax receipts from gambling in 2017 over two billion pounds and they want to show off about bringing in self-exclusion and they want to show off about donating 60 million pound in one year alone the government netted 2.7 billion where's that gone to i'll tell you where it's gone to it's gone to their he hefty pay packets that they get in the westminster that's where it's gone to there's a big reason why these companies will never will never ever um there's a big reason why the UK government will never put massive restrictions on, on online gambling. I'll tell you the reason why. Because they're afraid. They're afraid. They're going to be hit in the pocket. The government are as just as bad and evil as the gambling companies. These governments, they don't care about anything except money and making money and destroying people's lives. Okay? This may sound harsh, but you know what? I'm in a harsh mood today. I'm sick and tired of it, guys, yeah? Not enough's being done. I don't... 
I'm sure everyone knows this, but it's easier, it's easier, right, to lose a hundred pounds in ten seconds on a gambling website than it is to buy a cigarette or buy alcohol or buy. You know, you can't go, you, you can't go online and get drunk. You can't go online and get stoned, but you can go online and lose everything that you own. Yeah. Gambling is destructive and people are not taking it as serious as they should be in the government, in the Westminster, you know. But let's, co let's contract our focus today on online gambling. Sorry guys, I've just, ugh, I guess to me, so badly. But, online gambling. Now, I've seen a very interesting uh, report today um, on, a, on a very well-known um, website. Um, it was from... Um, the um, website of no uh, no deposit three six five dot com. Um, they put on a very good, some sort of very interesting information that I didn't even know about myself. But America, Australia, and Brazil have taken massive, massive steps to actually um, ban completely ban online uh, gambling. Um, they have taken steps, and that is massive, massive congratulations to them for doing that. Um, but there's still loopholes there. These punters that go do go online and gamble, they can still sign up to overseas companies. They can still sign up to overseas companies, um, and they can still, you know, um, go, you know, gamble online, and they can also go on these no deposit um, places as well. So it's not a complete ban, but they have made efforts into making it a lot more difficult for their citizens to gamble, which I think is fantastic. Um, as you know, all the Muslim countries out there, there's a blanket ban on there. Um, places like, even places like Japan and um, uh, is completely banned. Um, interestingly enough, in North Korea it's banned online but if you come into the country and you want to gamble as a foreigner you can gamble there um so it seems to me there's a lot of countries out there that are taking steps against online gambling and protecting their citizens but nothing from the european countries nothing from great britain nothing from the uk you know and that that to me is standless that there's no efforts being made um to stop um, online gambling, um, you know, and I, I, I was seen I I seen a tweet today about um, um, one of the big gambling organisations. I think it's Gamcare or Gam yeah Gam Gam Gamcare. I think it is. They're going to be opening their lines now, twenty four hours a day for problem gamblers. Great, fantastic, fantastic that they're, they're actually doing that. But why? Is it that these people are ringing up these places in the first place? Surely we have to control the problem before it gets to a telephone call. How many one of you? How many you know one of you have, have like come home one night? You got two grand sitting in your bank, just been paid. Um, six hours later, it's all gone. Yeah. Now, yeah, you can set yourself daily limits and say like fifty quid a day, things like that. Um, but if you've got a gambling problem. The last thing you want to do is put limits on because you want to get more and more and more. You want to chase your money back. So these daily limits don't work either. The only way that online gambling, and to be honest with you, high street gambling and casinos as well, the only way that this gambling epidemic, this gambling cancer, is going to be massively reduced is by a few things. The first thing the gambling adverts need to disappear completely. Okay, we don't see cigarette and alcohol adverts, so why do we have to see gambling adverts? You know, it's ridiculous. The second thing that needs to happen is that the bookies that are in the high streets, they need to be cutting down their hours because they used to open just during from like 9 till 5. They're open 10 o'clock at night now. If they had it my way, they'd be all closed down altogether, but... You know, that's not the ideal world we live in, unfortunately. Like I said, this government's making way too much money off it. Um, they're evil, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and the other way is for the government to push forward a plan 
where every single casino, every single online casino and sports betting uh, website, every single gambling company within the UK has to be compulsory that when a new member signs up, without the member doing it themselves, it's just an automatic thing that every company will have in place that they limit their customers to £50 a day. That's it. £50 a day. Once that's £50 has gone, you can't gamble again. And you know what that will do? That will protect. That will protect the compulsive gambler. That will protect the gambler that wants to escape and relief from their problems that they're suffering. Whether they're suffering from mental illness, depression, anxiety. These guys, okay, can, sh can blow a massive amount of money in short periods of time. Now, the government and the gambling author gambling companies, they don't care about that. Okay, They don't understand the financial harm that someone can get into in a very short period of time. But it needs to be addressed. It needs to be looked at. The daily limits need to be addressed. And it's not down... They have to understand that if it's in place and if it's compulsory, that all these organisations, whether they're online or whether they're or whether they're in the street, no matter whatever gambling uh, situation you get yourself into, there has to be a limit as soon as you sign up. A, a £50 day limit or something across those lines, yeah? Doesn't matter how rich or how poor you are, that's your limit, okay? It will protect people from blowing a vast amount of money and being left in financial ruin, Okay? I don't care if the government isn't going to make their 2.7 billion in tax returns. I don't care if the gambling organisations aren't going to have their big bonuses to their chiefs. I'm talking about people here that are suffering, mentally suffering, every single day because of their addiction problems. You help people with drugs, you help people with smoking. How about helping people with gambling now? It's not right. And I'll tell you something else. I'm going to push it and push it and push it till the day I die. Until the day I die, I will make sure that something is done about the evil that is gambling and the fact that the governments are all in on it as well. Okay? But let's change the subject now. I mean, guys, I just want to say to you, whoever is watching my videos, I just want to say, you know, thank you so much for watching them. Um, my aim of uh, of it all, you know, is to give you the encouragement, and give myself the encouragement, give the awareness to you all, give the awareness to myself, encourage you all, encourage me as well. Get involved in the comments in the videos. Subscribe to the channel. See the daily videos. I want us to all help each other. I don't want us to have another day of gambling, another day of feeling suicidal, another day of feeling like a bad person, okay? I want us to fight this, and we can fight it together. But the only way we're going to fight it is if these people in the powers that be, that that, that, that while they get their, money, their pockets full of money from the likes of me and you, the only way that we're going to do it is by making them listen. And the way we make them listen is by pushing the case to to really clamp down on the availability of gambling and the way that money can get blown in short periods of time. If anybody can understand where I'm coming from, please click the subscribe button. I want to make this channel grow and I want to really, really push, push it now to these powers that be. But I hope and pray, God, that, that, that you all of you guys tonight are safe you you're with your families or you're with your loved ones, and you got don't have gambling on your mind. And I hope you have an amazing weekend. I hope that your weekend is full of happiness and joy. And um, like I said, gambling is a million miles away from your mind. Just remember, guys. Okay, the gambling world is evil. Okay, and it will devour your soul. It will take your soul and spit it back out again. Okay, I promise you it will. God bless.